Chris Kamara put on a staggering performance on tonight's Strictly Come Dancing football special. The Sky Sports pundit left stunned viewers shouting his catchphrase, Unbelievable. Jeff, as they watched him bust some incredibly bizarre moves. Cammy, 60, took to the dance floor alongside former French footballer David Ginola and Arsenal star Alex Scott. Alex and her professional partner Pasha Kovalev came out on top and lifted the glitter ball trophy. But sport relief viewers were all talking about Cammy's strange performance with professional dancer Anya Garnes. Chris Kamara proved his legendary status on Sport Relief, Image, BBC, the Sky Sports Pundit took part in a strictly special, Image, BBC. Cammy shimmied around the dance floor as he put what he practiced into action in a bid to win the contest. He was initially dancing with his famous headset on and could clearly be seen counting to the beat. The couples were all dancing to World in Motion, which obviously meant Watford. And Liverpool legend John Barnes came in for a special appearance. He was clearly having a great time, Image, BBC, Cammy busted out his best moves, Image, BBC. It was then time for the judges' comments and Craig Ravel Horwood was not very happy. Craig said, It was a complete dance disaster I'm afraid, darling. Your feet looked like they were completely velcroed to the floor. Timing was out and the lift landed really badly. Apart from that, darling, it was prefect. Bruno Tonioli then gave Craig the red card and Cammy pumped his fist into the air. Cammy went down a storm, image, BBC, viewers of the sport. Relief special took to Twitter after witnessing Cammy's dancing. One said, wow, Chris Kamara's dancing is so bad. It's worse than his guest appearance on Catchphrase. Another added, love it Chris underscore Cammy but he dances like everyone's embarrassing dad with his tie round his head at a family party. A third said, strictly with it Chris underscore Cammy is possibly my fave TV moment of all time. Fact, asterisk sport relief airs tonight on BBC One from 7pm.